Um, good morning. <clears throat> I am Chris Rodriguez, Director of the Office of Homeland Security and Preparedness. I'd like to thank uh, Chief Technology Officer David Weinstein, um, the Attorney General Chris Perino, uh, Director Alexander, and of course uh, Chief Cop for being here today. Uh, Chancellor, thank you for allowing us to speak here. And I'd also like to recognize former Attorney General John Hoffman, who's here as well. Um, one of the challenges we face in Homeland Security and certainly in uh, the counterterrorism space in this threat environment that we face is how do we empower the public and how do we empower our first responders during an emergency situation. Um, think about the attacks um, that happen in Orlando, in San Bernardino, and of course overseas in Paris and in Brussels. The text of 911 capability will allow in, in, in the event that the unthinkable happens um, in our backyard uh, the public to be able to, in a safe way, text to 911 and be able to provide vital information to first responders arriving on the scene. FBI uh, surveys of active shooter situations that have occurred across the country show that about 70% of active shooter situations end in less than five minutes. And in some cases, that the speed at which those events happen um, sometimes outpace the ability of first responders to arrive on the scene. Omar Mateen in Orlando was able to kill 50 people in a matter of seconds um, by firing into a crowd at, the night, at, at that nightclub. Um, the assailants in San Bernardino also were able to kill about a dozen people, 14 people, in a matter of minutes. And so what I see uh, in this capability for text to 911, again, we are doing everything we can from a law enforcement and homeland security enterprise to empower our citizens as in this threat environment, they become the first line of defense against people who would do us harm. And in addition, we are empowering our first responders to get vital information that they need when they arrive on the scene. So I'm proud to be part of this effort. Um, I commend the Office of Information Technology and, of course, the Attorney General's Office and the State Police for the work they've done on this effort. Thank you.